everyone. Happy Thanksgiving, guys. No matter where you are, no matter what you're going through, <laughs> um, I want to say a happy Thanksgiving to all of you people on the West Coast <laughs> joining us now, watching the video. <laughs> and for recording. all of us that are happening live right now, please remember, you're going to see in our comments section, paint the free Family Penguin Painting Day live stream. You're already here. Just ignore those things. You put your comments in. Let us know where you're from. Let us know how your Thanksgiving has been going, what you're drinking, uh, who's who you're with, because we know that a lot of us are not with all of our loved ones tonight, including us. And we want to just say thank you all for joining us. We really appreciate it. We, 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 we set out to do this for you guys. <laughs> and uh, uh, we've had a decent Thanksgiving. We didn't go anywhere today. It's just the three of us. Me, Jennifer, and Aiden, and Rascal. Four of us. <laughs> and uh, we've had a pretty uneventful, nice day. Uh, we didn't have turkey. I made chicken with stuffing. <laughs> And um, Jennifer wanted some sweet potatoes, so I cut them up and put some cinnamon and brown sugar and butter on them. And we had a nice Thanksgiving dinner. And we, we were ready for you guys tonight. Oh, look who's right. back. Anya. Anya. Oh, I was it's right. It's wonderful to see you back. <laughs> Hi, Anya. <laughs> and again, I want to say happy Thanksgiving to everybody. Please do not click on any posts in the comment section That's advertising right. a free family Penguin Painting Day live stream here. tonight. Um, again, we're just happy to have you here joining us. We were looking forward to it for quite some time. We've got a whole weekend planned for you all. So um, just chat in. Let us all know right. where you're from. So are we ready to get started, Jennifer? Yeah, we're ready. All right, then let's get it on. <laughs> all right, so welcome, everybody. I'm Jennifer. Mark is behind the camera, behind the computer, the voice behind the screen. <laughs> We are Mimosas and Masterpieces. We're out of Southbound Brook, New Jersey. That little place on the map all the way on the right side. <laughs> yes. But we have lots of attitude, right? So we make up for it. Um, we've been painting virtually since March. We typically would be going out and doing these things in person. But we have certainly grown and enjoyed everything that we've done since March. COVID was our silver lining. Became the reason why I'm standing here in my spot in the world. So thank you guys for allowing me to share joy, spread joy through all of you. Yes, we made it our silver lining. That's basically. right. That's what we did. That's right. So, uh, we say it is not about the paint on the canvas for me. This is your time with your family. It's kind of putting everything else aside, spending that time with friends, family, and hundreds of other people around the world, um, and just kind of putting the world on pause, as Mar 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 as Mark says. Self-care Thursdays, right? That's what we're here for. Yep, and then you made what a thankful Thursday, so that's I what we got I did, and I today. didn't put my thankful Thursday post up yet. Don't uh, worry. I remember everything. Don't just let me know, and I remember it all. My, yeah, seriously. My mind, the short-term memory is getting shorter, shorter, shorter. That's all right. You're a busy, <laughs> busy woman. You do multiple things all day. She was doing things like that all day. I was doing the cooking, and she was down here filling Putting out, kids together. Filling kids, putting kids putting together. Putting kids together. You know, uh, <laughs> Painting, doing everything, just getting ready for tonight. All right, so let's go over your supplies. We have two 12 by 12 canvases, or one of each. You guys can put all of yours together for family. I'm going to paint two of them so you can see them both. Uh, we have our five primary colors, red, yellow, blue, black, and white. Red, yellow, blue, black, and white. Yep. We have, two, we'll probably just need two brushes tonight. So you'll probably just need your half inch flat and your medium round brush. Okay. I'm going to paint with the larger brush tonight because I'm doing two. And we're going to paint the whole background first and let it dry before we go to the penguins. So while that's drying, you guys can, especially because you have kids, if they need a break, get a snack, grab a drink, and we'll go over all of our upcoming events while your background is drying, okay? Yeah. We have a cup of water to rinse, paper towels to dry, and I have a sip. It's been a long day. <laughs> it's all right. So you guys are welcome to sit with me. Uh, any questions, of course, you guys can text them, them in. in. Mark will watch for them for us. He's my eyes and ears and usually repeats what I'm saying if you guys have questions. Right, that's for the new people. Don't worry, you'll be able to keep up. That's I'll right. make sure I have her repeat things. If you have any difficulties, <laughs> you just put it in the chat section. But um, right. I usually have her repeat or I repeat the things that she says. Either way, we'll get it to you. Absolutely. 
This is all about expression. It's not about perfection. <laughs> so keep in mind that you're here to put whatever creative energy that you want into your painting. That's right. You don't have to follow the rules because there are no rules. There's not. Remember, my, my painting, painting is, is not, not going to look like, like my painting, painting and, and your painting, painting is not, not going to look, look like my painting. painting. And just in case, uh, Robert Frischke says, what paint brushes do we need again? Sure. Half inch flat brush and one of those like medium round brushes. This is probably number six or number eight. Eight. <laughs> just in case you have uh, just in case you have numbers on your brushes, you can use those. Okay. Um, so a flat brush of whatever, half inch, three quarter inch is fine. Um, I'm going to use the bigger brush again because I'm going to do both while you guys are doing one. <laughs> All right, so always to start, we rinse and dry our brush. Rinse and dry. And you're gonna do the background first? We're gonna just do the background first. And For both? Yep, well, I'm doing two because they're each probably all doing one. Right, so people could choose, choose what, what penguin they wanna do or right. yep. vice versa. You got it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so with your half, your half inch flat brush, you're going to take a corner of white and a corner of blue on that brush. Okay, so, corner of white on one side, corner yep. of blue on the other side. So you can see what this one looks like with that on there. Probably more white than blue, but all depends on how dark you want your background. You can see after the first one. So corner of white, corner of blue, and always start at the top, right along the top edge. Okay. We want to get those edges, the edges and the sides of that canvas. If your video is blurry, then maybe you need to go out, go out and come, come back, back in. in yeah. We're just getting started. What we're going to do is the background, and then we're going to wait for some time for that background to dry. dry. So, so you, you still have time. time to go out and come back in. That's right. So depending on how dark you want it, if you can see this one's a lot lighter than this is, you can tailor this to however you want. It could be whatever color you want it to be. You don't have to follow my colors either. If you want to do a sunset background, you can put all different colors back there. I'm just going to grab my corner of white, corner of blue, and kind of keep going. And make sure you get those edges. I'm just doing horizontal brush strokes all the way across. All right. Grabbing those edges as I go. Yes, we have some. Now, Michelle Dunham says, I could not find any 12 by 12s, but I found 12 by 16. That's fine. Would that work okay? Yeah. Absolutely. You could probably even get two little penguins on your 12 by 16 that's a great idea michelle whatever you have at yeah. your disposal is what you can use that's right you've got people that have painted on uh all kinds cardboard. of cardboard <laughs> cardboard paper uh, bags paper yes um uh, construction paper they yeah. use watercolors crayons whatever you got to do just to join us just to participate is up to you so again i'm just taking corner of white corner of blue Probably more white than blue here. Okay. And just brushing it right across the back. All the way down? Yep, all the way down we're going to go. Okay. Amber Taylor says, better late than never. Ellen and I are here. Good job. You're, you're never too late. That's who I gave you guys a shout out earlier. So, hi, Ella. <laughs> hi, Ella, Ella and Amber. Yep. Yes, and for all the people who have joined us tonight that are new, this is how we do things. Um, our our viewers that have been with us for a while, like Grandma Pat here, saying Hi, Grandma Thanksgiving. Pat. Happy Thanksgiving. Too full to paint tonight. <laughs> I cooked for myself and the grandkids. Aww. They came for takeout. Oh, that's so sweet. Okay, for people like her, she knows, okay, that when we do these sessions, we save the video to these sessions and they stay right there on the YouTube, I mean on the uh, Facebook page, yep. and then they go to YouTube. Okay, so if you don't miss, if you uh, if you can't follow along or... You, uh, you missed the event, don't worry, you can always paint with us because we're going to put the video somewhere. It's going to be on the Facebook page, on, on it's going to be on the website, or on it's going to be on the YouTube page. One or the other. It'll Absolutely. be somewhere. And then, that time, and then when you do it then, you can stop it, you can pause it, you can go That's forward, right. go backwards, whatever. That's right. So how's everybody doing? What was your favorite part of Thanksgiving dinner? What did you have that you love? What's your favorite side? Mine side? is the sweet potatoes. <laughs> oh, so you really like the sweet potatoes I made I last night? They were good, honey. They That's were my mom's recipe. They were still not my grandma's, but they not were your grandma's. Not good. No way I could beat her. <laughs> okay, but I came as close as I could by using my mom's recipe. I had a conversation with my aunt this morning who, who called and said she had to make sweet potatoes and 
when she and I tried to make them a couple of years ago, I think we used like every pot in the house, every appliance in the house. <laughs> I was like, oh, they're still not done. Let's put them in the microwave. Wait, let's put them in a different pot, put it in the microwave. We have to add more butter. No, it's not enough brown sugar. Oh my gosh, we were a hot mess. See, I didn't even have that problem. I took care of business, <laughs> sliced all my potatoes, put them in the oven after I seasoned them with brown sugar and, and butter and cinnamon. And she liked them good. <laughs> It was like that scene from National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation when they're all having dinner together. Oh, okay. <laughs> and we were at my grandparents' house, and my grandfather was like, these are, these are not like nannies. I'm like, yep, they're not. I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now Chris says he didn't hear the instructions over the comments. Can you please go over the instructions again so that you can, so you can follow along with our background here that you're doing? No problem. So our background is just... A corner so I'm, I'm using a, a larger brush because I'm doing two you guys can grab your half inch flat brush and this you'll take a corner of blue and a corner of white probably more white than blue and then just do horizontal brush strokes all the way across so you're kind of blending right on the on your canvas so corner of white corner of blue and you're just blended on your canvas back and forth that's yeah, see, Amanda says, thanks for doing this. Tonight is too busy for us. No but problem. But hoping for this weekend to watch yep. if it's put on and paint with the kids. That's right. We and that's always, why we always put the videos up. Right. We'll always save it on Facebook for at least a week before we move it anywhere. Um, that's part of, you know, part of why we asked you guys to do the sign up on our website is so that you have all of those questions answered. Where will it be? Where it's going to be saved? What your supplies are going to be? All of those questions are answered in the sign up when you download the sign up online. And the sign ups are all free. And we've made videos that you can find them on our Facebook page that, ex excuse me, that explains how we do things and when we do things and why we do things. <laughs> um, I also posted those videos on our YouTube page. Our YouTube page is Mimosa's Masterpieces, one word. You look for the logo, you'll see the logo, and then you'll see about 40 to 60 videos that we've already done during the course many? of the year. Really? And that's up to about 60. Wow. Um, all the thumbnails have the picture of the painting that is painted during that session, and you can click on it. We uh, hope that you subscribe, because when we put a new painting up, then you'll get a notification. All right, so. So now you've gotten both of your uh backgrounds done yes yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna give this a few minutes to dry we know you're still working so we'll, this is a great time for us to go over our upcoming events so we can talk about those instead of in between all of my steps okay how's that well of course you know we're back here tomorrow <laughs> and then we're back here again on saturday so we'll start with tomorrow tomorrow is going to be the elf on a shelf which Grandma Pat says she's definitely going to be doing tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> the start time for that is 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Yep, so remember, all of the sign-ups are on our website. The sketches, which you'll need to have before yes. we start, are on that download. So you can get them sketches. Uh, could you explain to them so that those who are new sure. can go to the website and see that they want to be charged a dollar, which is really <laughs> the reason why we have to put that on there is because they won't let us... Make yeah, a post give us without a making a price. So, though. even though it says a dollar, if you just type in the promo code, all caps, self care, at the checkout, then they they will all be free. All of your signups are free. So, if all you need is the sketch, right, for tomorrow's Elf on the Shelf, you just go to the website. You'll find it. It's posted right there, right when they come on there, they'll see it. It's yes. I mean, when you go, go to, to the, the website, event. no, when you go to the Mimosas Masterpieces website, mimosasmasterpieces.com. Yes. The very first page is kind of the shopping page, so you just scroll up, scroll up or down a little bit, and you'll find it in there. Okay. Look for the painting that you want to do, and just click on the sign up, add it to your cart for a dollar, and, and then... scroll down until you see the sketch, and then you it. just print the sketch, and then you can get started. Well, it's a, you're not going to see the sketch. You're going to see the, the, the painting. Okay, but when are they going to get the sketch? What if people it gets want the emailed sketch? to them along with the FAQs and along with the all of the information, the supplies. And then they will print out the sketch. That's right. right. All of it is together. All the information is there for them together. to tell them how to apply the sketch to there. Correct. Okay, because Jamie Marie, one of our top fans, says, I'm Jamie. so ready for tomorrow. I've already sketched out my elf, Yay. and my nine-year-old is already excited for it. <laughs> awesome. 
So cool. And then we'll be back on. We'll be back on Saturday. Saturday. Saturday is a double header day. Four. Okay. We're going to be doing the Grinch. The Grinch on Saturday at 3 p.m. Eastern time. He's right there on the left side. She's pointing to it right now. <laughs> okay. And then later on that night at 9 p.m., we'll be doing Max and Cindy Lou, who are up there in the right-hand corner of the screen now that you can see. Yep. Okay. And um, those people on the West Coast who uh, I want to say Happy Thanksgiving to if they're watching the tape, because they, they will be watching the tape most likely uh, later on tonight. Um, they can do the Grinch. The Grinch will also be up posted by the time uh, it gets to evening time in the West Coast. So they can join us for Max and Cindy Lou and then do the Grinch later at another time, depending on which one they want to do. Okay? So that wraps up the whole weekend. Elf on the Shelf on Friday at 8 Eastern Time. And then the Grinch at 3 p.m. Eastern Time on Saturday. And then Max and Cindy Lou, 9 p.m. Eastern Time on Saturday night. All right? The first thing that we got coming up the first Thursday in December, 8 p.m. Eastern Time. That's our self-care, thankful Thursdays, leg lamp. We're doing the leg lamp from the, from the movie A Christmas Story. Can you see that? Uh, no. Let me put, let me, let me move the camera back over. Mm -hmm. There we go. Whoa. Yes, we're doing the leg lamp. That'll be the first Thursday of December, December 3rd. And then Friday, Friday, December 4th at 9 p.m. Eastern Time, we're doing Uncle Dennis. <laughs> no, it's Uncle Eddie. Oh, Uncle Eddie. There you go. From National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. That's it. We're doing him <laughs> on December 4th at 9 p.m. You got it. And then that Friday, we have a Zoom event coming up. Was Twas the Night Before Christmas. Yes, Saturday, right? Yep. That's a Saturday. Yep, Saturday, so Twas the Night Before Christmas. The, um, the, the extras for the kit are sold out, so I have to put up a post. Okay, because the, uh, the painting that you see for Towards the Night Before Christmas is right there underneath Max and Cindy Lou in the right-hand corner yep. above the Christmas moose. But you can still join with just the Zoom. We just don't. The lights are gone now. We're, they're sold out. We're out of lights? Out of lights wow. and the extras. Yep. Well, it's coming up, so that's why a lot of people have been already yep. getting the order in their kits. Okay, uh, that Tuesday, December 8th at 8 p.m., we're doing the Jolly Gnome. You see the gnome? gnome? He's right there next to Twas the Night Before Christmas. Well, there's a we couple. We have three different versions. I was going to say, yeah, there's a couple Three of different gnomes. versions of the Jolly Gnome. And we'll be doing that on Tuesday, December 8th at 8 p.m. So okay. the Jolly Gnome actually comes with um, the lights, the light kit, if you would like the light kit. Um, that's what that kit involves. But you can make your gnome anything that you want. We have a gnome up top with the dreidel. Right, we so have... the gnome with the dreidel up there on the left-hand side of your screen. Yes. And then we've got the gnome with the Christmas box, <laughs> with the Christmas toy on the right-hand side of the penguin. So we're doing all three of those gnomes on that night. So whatever you guys want to make your gnomes, we'll make your gnomes. Right. If you can't make it, don't worry. You can always get the video. The video will be posted immediately after the event. And it will eventually end up on the YouTube page. That's right. Okay, so now, just to round out that Thursday, December 10th, 8 p.m., is the Christmas Moose. The oh, Christmas Moose yeah, is there right too. there in the lower right-hand corner of your screen. He has also has some lights that go on his antlers, but those lights have burnt out because he had them <laughs> on for like three weeks. They're done. And then uh, the Christmas hat, all of that comes in the kit. You can still order your kits. Even if you get the kit late, you can still paint by using the video. Yeah, I have to check it once I finish filling kit orders tonight. That one might be all. That might be out too. We're so happy and so grateful <laughs> that people from California are still joining us now at this early hour. Because uh, we were afraid that um, you know, that it was going to be too early during their Thanksgiving time, you know, dinner time around that time. But uh, cousins Jaden, Brooklyn, and Addison are painting from Corona, California. Hey, Thanks guys. for joining us. Welcome, welcome. What else we got? Well, uh, let's see. I'll read off a couple more. Oh, we've got Saturday, December 12th. Okay, getting closer and closer to Christmas. 3 p.m., the Polar Express. Polar Express is up in the, up in the right, oh, oh, no, up in the left corner. <laughs> you see it right there next to the gnome and right above the Grinch. Mm -hmm. We'll be doing the Polar Express at 3 p.m. Eastern Time. 
Then the following Saturday, December 19th, at 3 p.m., we're going to be doing the revisit of our Nightmare Before Christmas. We'll be doing Sally at 3 p.m., which is over here on the other side. Outside. <laughs> There's Sally right there, right above the gnome, to the right, to the right upper corner of your screen. And then that night, we're doing Jack at 9 p.m. Now, where's Jack? He's hidden back here. Oh, Jack is hidden. Don't, 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 don't touch him because he's gonna. All that's gonna come down. Yeah, you can see Jack right there <laughs> on the left side. He's right next to the Grinch. All right, so we'll be doing Jack and Sally on December nineteenth, three p.m. for Sally Eastern Time and nine p.m. for Jack Eastern Time. You got it. Yeah. All right, and uh, when we come, when we go, when we go back to another break, then we'll have Jennifer talk about what we got coming up for the month of January. <sighs> Yes, we still have other holiday paintings coming up. We just have not gotten them all, and I'm promising to get a Ralphie picture in there with the uh, oh. with the bunny bunny suit. Um, and I really would like to get a stitch, a Lilo and Stitch with a Santa hat on there for you. So, all right, aim okay. it for that. Himanshu Dubriel says, "Can you please repeat?" Um, uh, so. The background is just a corner of white and a tiny bit of blue. Uh -huh. um, and then we're just kind of using horizontal brush strokes all the way across your canvas. So we're bringing it all the way down. Yep. And then you're going to want to let it dry. Yep. Then we're going to let it dry for a few minutes. All right. All right. So I'm going to, since we kind of gave it a few minutes, I'm going to take that same brush we were using, that half inch flat brush. And let's make this bottom area into like a little bit more snow. So I'm just grabbing white to lighten this up a little. And we can make a little bit of hills over here. I'm going to come all the way across so that my paintings match up here. Okay. <laughs> and then we'll just kind of make that white and bring that white down, horizontal brush strokes, just to lighten it up a little bit. Make it look like they're standing on a little snowy hill. Right, which Jim Pretel says, when are we doing the Grinch? We're Saturday. doing the Grinch Saturday. We're excited for the Grinch. It's going to be 3 p.m. Eastern Time. That's right. If you can't make it at that time, don't worry. The video will be posted as soon as the event is over. That's right. Yep, we save it. It'll be right on the Facebook page. If it's not in the event, it'll be on the page. Christine Arantes, absolutely we're painting the penguins tonight. The yeah. penguins that you see to the right of the paintings that she's doing <laughs> right now, that's what we're going to be doing. There we go. All right. So we'll give you guys a minute to get those, uh, get some snow on the ground for your penguins. Susan Burgesson, Modesto, California, in the Hi, house. Hi, Susan. Welcome. Jewel Nickerson says, I'm working and still watching. Oh. Well, we appreciate it. <laughs> you know you can paint whatever you want when you get time. You have a boring job if you're watching me while you're working or what? No, nah, no. Nah. <laughs> I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say that. Who's watching me while they're working? That's funny. A lot of people. Some people just want to watch and just <laughs> see what's going on so they can do it later. All right, we're going to train in on this, uh, this canvas training. that you're working on. Oh, okay. Yep, we'll give you guys a minute or two to get your little snowy ground on there, and then we're going to begin working on our penguins. Can you repeat that step again? Sure. How you made the snowy ground? Yep, so I just take that half-inch flat brush, make sure we rinse and dry good, and then I just took some white, and then I just made a little bit of a hills, a little bit of a hilly land mass here that our penguins are going to stand on, and then we just fill that in with the white, just back and forth horizontal brush strokes. See, and then Sarah Jaramillo says, "Well, I'm watching now, Hi, Sarah. and the kids will be painting later." Aw, thank you for hosting them. You're very welcome, guys. Yeah, see, if there's a method to what you want to do, yes, you <laughs> want to have the kids do something so they're not bored or because they have to stay in the house and we can't visit anybody. Okay, so you want to have them do something that's fun. Yeah, they don't have to paint right now. You could be serving them dinner right now. And as soon as the video <laughs> is done and put up, then yeah, you can have them sit down and paint and have oh, a good time. Hi, buddy. And Rascal is here. He's like, oh, no, what? He said my name. Yeah, I'm calling your name out, Rascal, because you know how you do. It's okay, boy. Our rescue dog is Rascal. He doesn't go anywhere without Jennifer. He doesn't let Jennifer go anywhere without him, <laughs> without uh, expressing his... Uh, I was going to say. His uh, unhappiness with it. 
But uh, when, he, when, when Jennifer has to uh, participate and, and work and do these things with all of you, then he uh, sits down, lays down right at her feet, yep. and he puts her on a clock. <laughs> and then once she goes past the time, then that's when he'll make that. That's when he'll raise his displeasure. But uh, right now he's okay. My goodness. Yeah, he's very possessive. <laughs> it's my boy. Yes, 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 he is. <laughs> Hello from Janet and Rachel in Maryland. Hi, guys. Mom, Janet, loves the penguins. Aw, thanks, Janet. Wait till you see what I have coming in January. Oh, yeah. These are cute penguins, but I have some great penguins coming in January. <laughs> yeah, we do. Some really good ones. <laughs> All right. We're going to switch it up, and we're going to switch our brushes to that medium round brush now. Okay. So we're going to rinse and dry. Rinse and dry. Make sure you stick it in your paint water, not your wine glass. Yeah, see, Jewel says, I'm a dispatcher. Oh, okay. So that's how I can watch. Okay. I used to be a dispatcher, yeah. You could sit and watch the video on the side while you're taking care of business. That's true. That's so neat. Awesome. Okay. All right, I'm going to grab some white. I'm going to do mine in a little bit of a different order than I did my original ones here. And what so. brush are you using? Medium round brush. Medium round brush. Bring it down. Sorry. There you go. Medium round. I'm just going to grab white with that. It looks like a lot of white on there. Yeah, that's, that's okay. We're gonna we're gonna start with really rascal. Take it easy, man. I'm trying to think, do I start with the tummy or do we start with the face? Let's start with his head. Let's come up here for his head. Okay. So I want to come up in a little bit higher than the center of my canvas, and we're just gonna do a little circle to start. So maybe a two inch circle in the center. Yep, and then fill that in. Okay. I'm gonna do it on either side here. Both are going to be in the center. Uh, it's a little off center, but that's okay. Okay. Because keep in mind, if you want your if you want your penguins to high five <laughs> or co connect with each other, who, has, who depending on who's doing what. Yep. Okay. Just keep that in mind that you're going to keep you know one's going to the left and one's going to one's the right. One's going to look this way. One's going to look this way. Right. Right. So keep yep. that in mind. You got it. And then. <laughs> Take it easy, man. Rinse and dry. <laughs> I'm zoomed in. Okay. Now, people, I just want you to remember that we have a YouTube page. <laughs> we have lots of wonderful videos that we've done over the last few months that have been posted up there. So if you're a newcomer, uh, you can always find something to paint. There's a lot of beautiful paintings. Easy, man. Go get a drink. Go get a drink. All right. After we rinse and dry, yes. we're going to grab black this time. So black on that medium round brush. Okay. So I'm going to come from just around the edge. Can almost like we're outlining. Almost like we're outlining. And then I'm going to come all the way back around. And we're going to add... We're making our circle a little bit bigger as we come back here. Right, because this penguin space is turned to the right. Right. It's almost making a, a C shape around my penguin's face. I may have to bring my white down, but that's okay. Okay. And then up, up in the top, I, don't, I know my pan's going to be in the way. <laughs> I want to do kind of a little bit of an M. An M? One, two, like two little curved lines in here. It's kind of that where his, uh, his peak, where the eyes come up. Yep. So I'm going to leave this open, this white section open. Right. That's going to the right, going in the right direction. Right. So I'm going to come over here and do this one on this side. Right, now this face is going to be facing towards this the left. Way. Right, so I'm going to do that little M shape shape so you can see it there. There we go. And then bring this around again. And give them a chance to see that. Right. Emery 
Emily Dillman says, Hi, Emily. My husband just took a big squig uh, of his brush water. Oh, so we got to put him on the list. <laughs> Emily's husband. Oh, Emily's gets, husband. Uh, yeah, he gets the paint, paint cups, water dripper. Uh, nope, no, paint wait. cup sipper. Paint cup sipper. The paint cup sipper award. At the end of the year, we're giving the award out to somebody. <laughs> he says, I'm dying laughing. <laughs> oh, that stinks. Yeah, we have the splatter phone yeah. people. We yeah. have the wine dipper. <laughs> we have the paint cup sipper. Oh, goodness. You guys are too much. It happens. It, that, that we Don't know. feel bad. <laughs> it happens. You did it. Almost. Almost did it? You didn't, you didn't successfully I didn't did sip it? any of my you paint water. You didn't sip, but you did. Yeah, that I have done. <laughs> that I have to admit that I've done. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> At some point, when you're drinking wine and you're painting, you're going to dip. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Continuing with my black. Yes, continuing with continuing black. Continuing with the black. So now we're going to create their body. So it's kind of just an oval. So we're going to come from the bottom of his head. And you can always make this oval bigger if you need to. Starting with this oval. Okay, in black. Yep, in black. And you went all the way down to the snow. All the way down to the snow, yes. Are oh. you going to fill his whole body in? No, we don't want to fill the whole thing in. So we're going to we're going to make another kind of a U-shape in here too for his tummy. All right, so you're gonna make the space for his tummy. Right, so we'll leave that section open and we'll paint around it. All right, let them get a good look at that. So we kind of have this little U-shape in here. We're gonna paint around the U-shape. Okay. Don't worry, Octavia Rodriguez, we're gonna repeat and repeat and repeat. So, I can go back to the faces if we need to go back to the faces. Yes, please do when you finish doing the outside. Okay. Yep, yep. Perla Garcia also wants you to slow Repeat. down. No problem. Okay. So our first step that we did for our faces was <clears throat> make a white circle. Right. We made so a white circle. So we made circle. a white circle. I'm going to make mine a little bit bigger while I'm doing it now. So I'm going to go white circle. Okay. Now it looks a little gray. That's all right. <laughs> That's what happens when you get a little black in there. <laughs> okay, so white circle for your penguin face. And then we rinsed and dried. And we went to black. So then we take our black. When you go to another color, you've got to rinse, rinse and, and dry. dry good, yeah. Unless she says otherwise. Yep, rinse and dry. And then we kind of create a little M up here. So one, two. So they're like little curved lines. And then we come around the back of his head with that black. And this one is the facing on the right. Correct. He's going to face the right. If he's facing the right, then this is how it should look. But if you're doing the other side, facing the left, then it's going to look like the way you so, see on the left, on the right side. So right, there. then we do those two little curves over here. Yes. That way. All right, and then after that. Okay, and then you're going to... You just make sure your brush is clean, rinse dried, whatever you need to. Same and then, brush? Yep, same medium round brush. And then we're going to come and do an oval shape connecting on the bottom of his head for his body. Going all the way down into the snow. Coming down to the snow and back up. And then we'll do one slightly smaller on the inside for his white tummy. That hasn't been filled in white yet. That's right. We didn't get to that <laughs> step yet. And then you're going to just paint the black around the outside of the body. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna come over here for this you gotta guy. Do this side, so she's gonna do it. Again. She's gonna do it all over again. So. She's doing two penguins. So as you say, please slow down. Don't worry. She's gotta do it twice. <laughs> so yeah, we got our penguin here. And yep, you can make it bigger. It's hard to go smaller, so you can always start smaller and go bigger if you need to. Remember that. You can start smaller and you can always go bigger. bigger. Yep. It's hard to go smaller. After you don't already went big. <laughs> you can still do it, but it's just going to be some work involved. It's, it is. 
And then you'll make kind of a smaller, slightly smaller U on the inside of that or oval on the inside and then just fill in that black around the outside. Right, so you're making a, sm a smaller U version in the inside because that's where you're going to paint his tummy. Yep. And it's going to be painted white. You got it. So, so far we have the beginning of, of our, our penguins. penguins. Yeah. And for those of you who have never painted before, don't worry. Trust the process. That's true. Just Trust follow the along process. And you add your creative energy wherever you think it's, wherever you think it fits. That includes whatever colors you want to use. You know what you want to put in the hands of your penguins. Yeah. What kind of hat? What color? What kind of hat? What color scarf? That's right. We're all about artistic freedom, <laughs> freedom of expression. It's not about perfection. We got a lot of people painting with us tonight, and we are so so appreciative. Aww. We, we anticipated so that glad. something was going to be needed like this. So that's why we just made the whole weekend for you guys. <laughs> that's right. We're here all weekend. <laughs> yeah, we usually, usually for Thanksgiving, we go out to Pennsylvania to see her mom and her stepdad and uh, yeah. her brother and all the other family members that are out there in Pennsylvania. And um, it just didn't happen this, this year, you yeah. know. I mean, we used to go to my mom's house and have Thanksgiving dinner there with her, my sister, my brother. My nieces and nephews, and we just couldn't do that this year. Yes, we are. I'm anticipating doing something on Christmas night as well because hopefully, because uh, we will be home. I'm sure for Christmas night. Yes. Um. Yep. <laughs> and, and let me tell you, we are just as ecstatic by being here tonight with you guys. Oh my gosh! Yes. Okay, we've been waiting all day for this time to come so we can get together and you know how see how many people are going to join us tonight. How much less stress it is. Yeah, you know. <laughs> then cooking and traveling. <laughs> yeah, Merle Park Hill says, why are you not traveling? <laughs> because it's COVID-19 It's out there. <laughs> yeah, um, we're, we're trying. We're trying. We have, you know, taken our chances in certain certain areas, but... You know, my we have several family members that have low immunity, and we just don't put them in harm's way at all. We don't yeah, take we don't chances. even want to take the chance. No but chances. That's, that's our choice. You know, yep. uh, if people who went out and visited their families and having big gatherings or whatever, that's up to you guys. Um, you know, it's nobody saying what is right or what is wrong. We're just saying that uh, we're being cautious. You know, my <laughs> mom is in her seventies. Okay, I don't want to risk it. So with our, we're going to continue. So same brush with that black. So we're going to work on their fins, okay? So I'm going to make this guy's fin, the, the penguin on the left, so I'm going to make his right fin kind of angled up this way because we want him to sort of look like they're doing a high five. Or maybe I'll have him holding the heart, giving it to this one, okay? Okay. All right, so we want to come down from not right at his neck, but down just a little bit. And we'll do sort of a slightly curved line heading up that way. All right, let them see that. Do yeah, because he's on. Uh, he's sort of like in the center. Yeah, he's not so he's quite on the edge. So he's to have a really long arm to reach and actually give a high five. Well, that's why I think I'm going to put a little heart up here, so it looks like he's giving him a heart and he's handing it off. How's that? That's good. All right, and then you do the one on the on the right side as well. Yeah. Who's so. closer to the edge, or maybe even bigger? Yeah, he's a little bit bigger. And then we're just going to bring this down and come down maybe down to here. So we want to follow this little shape. No, Merle, we're not on lockdown. Nope, not on lockdown. We're just being careful. Yeah, just being careful. And cautious where we can. I still go to work every day, you know? Yep, Aiden still goes to school. Aiden they still is have in kids school. going to school. Yep. You know, we, we just try to cut down all of the traveling. It's not as bad as it when it first started in March when we got shut down and then we had to cancel all of our live, uh, yes, all our did. live traveling um, events. Events, but um, you know, we just want to be careful. So we anticipated all of this, so we figured, okay, <laughs> we need to have something for people to do on Thanksgiving night. 
just in case they are, you know, quarantined or they're just not able to get out. Or, you know, we didn't know what, what to expect. But we just knew that some yeah. people are going to want to have something to do on Thanksgiving night. Yes. So, and we, so we decided the whole weekend. <laughs> that we did. I'm so good at booking my schedule. <laughs> yep. She's, she's, a, she's really good at that. Yeah. And uh, uh, not taking a break. That's my dad. That's my tough part. Not taking a break. Yep. That's you. All right. So we have their fins kind of coming up toward the center of the painting mm -hmm. or toward the edge of the painting. And now on this side, on the, on the opposite side, you can have their fins coming down or you can have them going up too. Like they're, you know, going yay or go. I don't know. <laughs> So I'm gonna have this one spin. Let's start at the top of where this one is. So over here, and we'll bring this one spin down just a little bit. Yeah, see Merle just says, yeah, it's good for you because here where I am, we're in code red. Oh do my not gosh. leave your house, do not pass go. I understand. Aww. And this is one of the main reasons why we planned all of this ahead of time. We decided, okay, we know where it's headed. So let's just make sure that we have something for people to do. Because we know we weren't going to be going visiting. Yep. So why bother being in the house and doing what we normally do would be making kits or uh, filling paint cups <laughs> or just staying in the house and watching TV all day and cooking and eating and all of that stuff. We did all of that from the beginning this morning to, uh, <laughs> well, we had dinner around 5 p.m. Eastern time. You know, make sure we were all fed and everybody was good. Aiden is okay. And Rascal is okay. And come down here at 7 o'clock Eastern time and have a, meet you guys and everybody get together and let's paint some penguins. <laughs> All right, I'm going to come over here and do this, guys. Next fin down here. Okay. I'm just going to curve it down a little bit. And bring it back up and around. You can kind of eyeball to see if it's the same length. You want it to be about the same length. Now, Anya says, can you quickly re-show the original? Yeah. Can you move it over a smidge? Um, she wants to see this painting. Oh, yes. Move over to the side where the original is. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> All right, see, Amber Taylor says, I'm immunocompromised. Mm -hmm. So having to do this with my kid is great because my family all work in the medical field, so they are helping me keep safe by staying away. Mm -hmm. Yes, we get it. Totally. One of my and then Pauline, Pauline telling Merle, stay safe. Hopefully this will be over soon. Stay positive. That's You're right. not stuck at home. You're safe at home. That's, that's a good way to that's put it. That's a good way of putting it, <laughs> yes. Yes. Huh. So give you guys a minute to get your penguin fins in there. Right. I'm letting Anya see the uh, original painting. Okay. And it, like we said in the beginning, my painting is not going to look like my painting. <laughs> Mine never painting looks like my look original. Like. Never right. does. Never, never. So. All right. So now we're going to go over. And while we're waiting for everybody to finish up their penguins, Jennifer's going to talk about some more penguins. All right, so here's the next set of penguins that are coming in January. We'll be doing these penguins in January. So, but this is part of a series. I'm sure everybody that signed up la before last night would have gotten an email blast from us this morning, or late last night, about painting a Zoom with the Zoo series. So we have four series, a set of four, of Zoom with the Zoo. We will be filming live from the Lehigh Valley Zoo in Pennsylvania. Yay, I'm super excited for this. So we'll be painting with the penguins live. Mm -hmm. We'll be Zooming with you guys. So you can ask questions to the zookeeper. You can um, see the penguins while we're watching. That is January 10th at 1 o'clock. Um, so it's penguins. We're going to do a, a rainbow boa constrictor. We're going to do a barred owl. And we're going to do, on Valentine's Day, the sloths. Okay. So the Greatest part about those, aside from the buy one, buy three, get one free deal that we gave you this morning, it ends on Monday, is you can win uh, the opportunity to be our VIP guest and be in person with us at the zoo. <laughs> yes. So we're just so I'm like so beyond 
excited for this entire program. Yes, so it's once be we are very special. Once we get uh, these couple under our belt, then we plan to um, paint live at the zoo regularly. Um, yes, we'll in person on... when we can finally be in person again. Right, we'll be on location. Yes, so cool. All right, so we're all rinsing and drying, and we are going to go to white. We got first timers Ava and Shauna. Hi, Ava and Shauna. From Oklahoma. Hi, guys. Welcome. So Mark Furman says, we are having so much fun. Aw, good. All right, I'm zooming back in. All right, we're going to paint their tummies, so I'm just going to grab white on that medium round brush and just go ahead and paint their tummies in. So you're using the medium round brush, rinse and dry, and then you're going to put white and you're going to paint inside the tummies. Yep. Just filling that in. Wonderful. So our <laughs> Zoom with the Zoo yes. series begins in January. January 10th. So the first winner for our VIP uh, person for January is pulled on December 23rd. And that's going to be the person that will be able, that to, will be able to come and join us right, at the Lehigh there will Valley be Zoo? one winner for each series or each session. And they get to bring a guest. And they get to bring a guest. All right, that's going to be yes. fun. Yes, I'm excited. They'll be able to join us live yeah, with person. you guys painting yes. on Zoom. That is right. That's going to be fun. It is going to be fun. <laughs> Are we going to be able to post this video soon? I mean, right away, instead of putting it on the website, can we just post it on um, Penguins? Yeah, yeah, the live the live series. The uh, um, probably not. I don't, I'm not sure yet. We, because we are asking people to pay a fee because we are giving back to the zoo for every right. thing that we're doing. So right. it isn't quite fair to ask people to pay and then we give it away for free. <laughs> All right. So we'll have to, <laughs> so it's going to be, it's we'll going to be pick paid. out a time period and yep. then eventually it'll end up on the YouTube channel. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Okay. Yep. It is. We're going to give back to the zoo for this too. Yes. All right, so we have our white tummies. Got Elizabeth and Tony, age hi, five. Tony. Oh, hi, Tony. Oh, hi, guys. So cool. We cannot wait to see your paintings, guys. The White Ant family joining us from Wisconsin. Welcome, guys. All right. So the next part is kind of like, you know, this is this is your. Actually, let's do his. Let's do their feet first. We'll do their kind of their little, what are they called? Feet? Fins. Fins for their feet? Okay. All right. So we're going to mix some orange. We're going to make some orange. We're rinsing and drying that brush. You're going to mix orange? Yep. We're gonna make sure this brush is rinsed and dried. Rinse and dry a medium brush. I'm going to take some yellow, scoop of yellow and put it on the side. Yeah. We're going to take a little scoop of red and mix. A little bit of red. Yeah. A little bit of red at a time because a little bit of red goes a long way. Okay, and depending on the shade of orange that you want, then you're going to add a little bit more red at a time? Yep, but I got okay. orange. We're good. See, you know, I knew the kids would have fun. <laughs> like Adam and Ayla having so much fun. First Hi, timers. Adam and Ayla. Aw. Okay, and then Rose, age four, having a great time with mom and dad. Aw, good. That's so awesome. It is awesome. That's what we were love hoping hearing that. We love hearing that. We love hearing that everybody gets together and paints. Yes. There's people getting together in multiple states and saying, you know, we're gonna we're gonna paint from here. We're gonna you guys together. gonna paint with us from there. We love it. That's so cool. Marcy Brooks Ganey says, Can you slow down? Yes, okay, you got yes. it. And don't worry, Take Marcy. She's painting <laughs> she's painting two penguins while you're painting one, or maybe you are painting two. <laughs> it's okay, we'll give it another minute or so. Sure. Don't worry. Because what we're going to do next is we're going to paint. We're going to paint their fins. Yes. Their feet. And she just mixed the orange. I just mixed some orange. By so. taking a little scoop of yellow and then a very tiny bit of red at a time to get the shade of orange that you like. Yes. Um, now you said we were going to do a snake. Yes, In we January are. for the Zoom. Uh, snake is, the yes. Zoom. There's the snake. Hold on, let me zoom out so they can see that. This is the rainbow boa. 
that's going to be the snake that we're going to see. Yeah. But, but that's not going to be, we're not going to be with that snake. Right. This is the one that's just going to be on Zoom. So this is not going to be an in-person film at the, vet, at the zoo. Okay. So we won't be at the zoo? No, we won't be at the zoo for this one. You scared of the snake? That's what happened? <laughs> no. <laughs> you don't want to do the painting with the snake? I'll hold the snake if you no, want. No, no. No, they actually have another program scheduled that day, but she's going to set it. They're going to set some time aside for us to do so this. So we'll have a live, we'll have we're a live have a meeting Zoom. with the snake, but we won't be there right. with the snake. And we're going to do another a session in February, toward the end of February, with the owls. They're going to bring a couple owls out to show us. Awesome. That we can talk about, but this is a barred owl. Now, those that will be on location will have a VIP guest with us. Yes, and they'll get to see the owls or the sloths or the penguins up close and personal. And of course, we're going to get you to sign a release form so that you can appear in the video <laughs> with us, doing that with the owl yeah. and painting with us. Oh my goodness. So be ready for that. So excited for this. Yeah, it's going to be an exciting time. We can't it wait. It really is. So those are great holiday gifts for anybody that you know is an animal lover and loves to paint. You can purchase the entire series of, uh, of kits. There is tons of different sizes. There's um, the 10 by 20s, there's the 11 by 14s, the 16 by 20s. You have lots of different options on there, but if you decide to do the buy three, get one three, that, or buy three, get one free, <laughs> that applies to either the Zoom session, so it's $45 for four Zooms instead of 60, uh -huh. or um, single kits, so uh, 16 by 20s for all of them. Okay. Yep going to be a fun time. It is. Oh, so exciting. And this is just the beginning, okay? We've got a lot more stuff in we store. We want to do some other innovative things. Innovative, creative. Different and interactive things. Yes, and Rascal. All come from the, and all one come will be about you. Don't worry. Yeah, what's going on, Rascal? Huh? We're, we're going to paint a Rascal. We're going to paint what's Rascal. What's going on, Rascal? No, don't, don't step out of the camera. I'm going to talk to you right now. What's going on, Rascal? Uh, you, you're acting like you don't want Mommy to paint. That's you bad. have to give her some time. We have a lot of people and a lot of families here that want to paint. You're and we fine. understand that you want your you time can't with sit her. On top of me. I love you but too. But you gotta be patient and let her do her thing. <laughs> you got a lot of people that have been wanting to do something all day today and now is their time. She's been with you all day long today. Right, fine. Well, now you're gonna come over and, now he's gonna come over and talk to me and say, nah man. Hey, hey, no, hey. hey. She's like, come on, mommy. Ow. I need you to leave. You okay? Take you it okay? easy, rascal. I just jammed my nail on his nose. Yeah, because he's, Take it he's easy. getting impatient. Calm down. Yeah, he's getting impatient. He's like, no, 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 you got to stop this. Goodness. All right. All right, we're going to go back, back to, to my fins, okay? So that orange for my fins, I'm going to come down on the bottom, around the bottom of their bodies. So in the bottom left, we're going to do two little curved lines, almost like parentheses. One and two. No. Like parentheses. Are you zoomed? Yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I took the camera off the rascal. Okay, good. And then we're going to do almost an M shape, right? One and two. That's what you'd say. That's an M. An M shape. Okay. Or two little curves. Or a sideways three. How's that? <laughs> a sideways three. Okay. <laughs> and then we're just going to fill it in. Dun, dun. Fill in. And that's with the orange that you mix together. Yep. Missy says, Rascal looks almost like our dog. Oh, really? He's an Australian Shepherd, is what they told us. He's a spoiled, he's a spoiled Australian Shepherd. Yeah, that is true. <laughs> Certainly is. <laughs> My usually, spoiled usually, dog. Usually he just lays down at her feet and waits till we're done. But for some reason today, he's just been beside himself. <laughs> All right, you do those parentheses on this side. Okay, and your... Uh, My sideways three. Sideways three. <laughs> backwards three. Backwards three. And then we'll fill his fins in. Trina Ralston, we are in the state of New Jersey. Yep. In a little town called South Boundbrook. It's a little awesome town, though. If you want to see our house and see where we live, all you got to do is go to our YouTube page and click on one of our videos. All our videos begin with an intro coming down out of the sky to our front door, through our door, into our house, and down into our studio. Literally, you're in our house, so. So join us on YouTube. 
<laughs> sign up, subscribe, and have some fun. Great. Let's get our penguin feet on these guy, this guy over here. Same thing. You're making the parentheses. Yeah. And your little M or threes or upside down threes. <laughs> and you're going to fill that in with the same orange on both sides. Yeah, Missy says, our dog is part Australian Shepherd and Basset Hound. Oh, Basset Hound. Well, we know that Rascal learned to howl, that's for sure. Oh, yeah. That's because Mark was teasing him. I wasn't teasing him. I was trying to communicate with him. <laughs> I don't tease Rascal. He's very sensitive. Yes. <laughs> Whatever you talk about him, he knows you're talking about him, and he looks right at you like he's doing me right now. Yes, Jennifer Truly Yellow says hello from Hi guys. Frankfort, Illinois. Will and Emily. Hi, Will, Will and Emily. Will is nine and Emily is six. They are awesome. both loving the project. Aw, good. We can't wait to see what you guys do with your penguins. So that's what we'll do. So at the end, once we're done filming, we will post it right onto the Facebook page so you can get back to it whenever you want to. Absolutely. Well, and we also do it because people on the West Coast, not all of them, but because we got a lot of people from the West Coast on with us now live. Um, you know, a lot of people don't have the time. They're having their Thanksgiving dinner right now, or they're still cooking their Thanksgiving dinner right now. And then once they're done, and they want to paint. So then they're going to paint by using the video. So we will then post a reminder, a little post, a little picture, just a kind of a reminder to post your photos here. And just add your photos as comments on that thread. So I can go back and grab them to make a slideshow when I finally get the chance to do it. Right. Um, That's our way of celebrating you guys. Yeah, we want to see those family photos. And then we'll post a another comment on there. It will be me holding my many thanks um, postcard that you come as a guest and you leave as a friend. Um, that will be uh, kind of a link to our virtual tip jar from our website. Again, we don't take payments through Facebook. We'll only do it on the website, okay? You need to calm down. Does he always go to the bathroom or something? Maybe. Come on, Rascal. Come go on. Outside. Go outside. He don't want to follow me. He doesn't follow me. Go outside. He follows his mommy. You want yep. to go outside? Guy, yeah, go outside. Come on. Go outside. <laughs> go outside, Rascal. Come on. Go outside. Go, go. Come on. Only the dog can steal the shot. Go outside. Go, 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 go. Nope. Nope. I'm in the way. That's why. All right. Well, too late. Whatever. Oh my goodness. So yeah. So we will post that uh, that virtual tip jar link for anybody that would like to use it. Um, it is not expected, but it's certainly appreciated. Um, we use that as our kind of our anyone that has purchased a kit and anyone that leaves a tip in our tip jar. We put you on a little spinner for some giveaways. So we like to give some little things out. We have a bunch of little things for kids this time. So. Um, if we use that, we'll come back live tomorrow at some point, and we'll do that giveaway for, for uh, we'll do a couple of them, depending on how many people we have. All right. All right. So with that orange, I'm going to come and do their beaks now. So on the side of the face, on the white area of the face, not quite from the center, more to the side, we're going to kind of do a little C. So we start with a C shape, grasp, calm down. So a little C-shape to start. A little C-shape. Yep. So a C. This is on the left one, and then it'll be kind of a backward C on this guy. And then we'll bring that C-shape up with a nice, uh, nice straight diagonal line there. So I'm doing diagonals from that C-shape. Rasko, take it easy, man. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with him tonight. I don't know either. And then I'm just going to bring that corner in, that little point at the end of his beak. We'll bring it in toward the center. So it's nice and thin on the outside, but it gets thicker toward his face. Okay. So it looks like a beak. What brush are you using again? This is still that medium round brush. Okay. And same thing on this side. We'll bring it in toward the center. Come on. Come on. You want to go outside? 
He doesn't know. There we go. So now, uh, now they have beaks. Sit down. Take it easy. Take a load off. There you go. Just sit down by mommy and take it easy. There we go. All right, are we doing okay? We got beaks on there. We're gonna give everyone a minute for that. And then you guys wanna throw some thumbs up to us so we know that you're ready for the next step. We don't wanna to go too fast for you. No, we're okay. I'm zoomed in so they can see both penguins. Oh, good. Very good. We've got Karen Flincham saying first time with you. Hi, Karen, welcome. Yeah, Merle says, yeah, too much turkey for rascal. Maybe. Gosh. It's something like that. <laughs> I mean, I did give him a few pieces of chicken, but gee whiz. And, of course, I'm going to put the, put the thumbs know. up. Anya's <laughs> on it. That's my girl. And Krishna says, yes, Yay. ready. Tony, Tony says, yes. Yes, all right. They're keeping up. Cool. All right. So the next fun part is their scarves and their hats. So I'm going to start with just the white area of their hats just to kind of get that out of the way and then we can add the hat on there as the next step. So I'm going to grab white, rinse and dry that medium brown brush. Blech, for, the medium talk. brown brush? <laughs> I can't talk today. Medium round brush, rinse and dried with white. Don't worry Holly Holmes Smith. We'll repeat She's all of the steps again. No, she says she's still working on it. Okay. So go ahead. We'll repeat this. All right. Step. Yep. I have to do both. So, rinse and dry that medium round. Just grab some white. So, on the penguin's head, we're going to follow the shape of his head with that white. So, I don't want to come all the way down. Okay. What about halfway down? With the nice, white. Nice, thick band of white for his Santa hat. Okay. Or his outdoor hat. Now you don't have to make a Santa hat. You can put a top no. hat. Yeah, you can put whatever you want on them. Uh, a beanie cap. <laughs> or you can just follow follow along with Jennifer. Or you don't need a, a hat at all. I mean, they're cute without a hat Yeah, they don't have to have a hat at all. That's true. Actually, I might leave the hat off of that one. I think he's cute. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. So we got the hat there. Just, the, just that kind of that fluffy area, the white area of the hat. And then you can pick whatever color you want to do. So do you want to do red? Do you want green? Do you want blue? Do you want purple? I think I'm going to go, I'm going to go rogue. I'm gonna, we're going to make a little bit of purple. All right. I haven't done purple. So I'm going to mix a little blue and red to make some purple. You're going to mix some purple? Yep. A little blue, a little red will make me purple. A little blue and a little red. Yep. So to do his hat, I'll come not quite at the edge. I'm going to move in just a little bit and come up and almost do like a little F shape almost. Oh, okay. So you're making a purple, a purple Christmas. Yep. Okay. Almost like an S. Tracy Rizzo Vance, first timers from Turnersville, North Carolina, joining awesome. us tonight. Awesome. Welcome, welcome. And then I'm going to bring this one up and over just to connect it. And then we'll just fill that little hat in. See, Auntie Martin got a good idea. What's How about a cheese head for Wisconsin? Oh, that's so yes, good. funny. You can that's put a cheese so head cute. on your penguin. Please do that and send it to us. <laughs> that would be awesome. That would be awesome. That's so cute. Yep, Karen Flincham, first timer. Ah, welcome, Karen. First timer from Champaign, Illinois. <laughs> awesome. And then I'm gonna use the same purple color to make his scarf too. So to do his scarf, I'm gonna follow right along that curve of his face. So right below the curve of his face, I'm gonna come down across the top of his body, curve each of my edges a bit. I'm super zoomed in for that. Awesome. So I'm just gonna brush that purple and it's picking up some of that white from here, which is fine. Okay. Yep, it's totally fine. Oh, Novita's back. Hi, Hi Novita. Novita. How are you? Yep, and Abby's here. Awesome. Hi, Abby. She says she's having so much fun. Aw. 
Did you get your apron yet? I did mail it, finally. <laughs> I'm Mark behind Berman, on gifts. Mark Berman says, I have paint all over my arm. Uh, I don't know how that happened, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's just part of the trade. That's yeah. what happens. And then I'm going to bring down... So it might be hard to see the purple. Um, in fact, I'm going to add a little bit of white to it so you can see the purple. Well, I have it super, super zoomed in so they can definitely see it. Okay. I'm just thinking over the white, it may... Or, or, I'm sorry, over the black, you may not be able to see it. So with that underneath your scarf, you can do maybe one over and bring it down as a curve. And come down and do another one as a little curve under here. Okay. A little S's for the little ties of his scarf. Yeah, Navita says she's good. She's been busy with the kids in the holidays. Oh, I hear ya. I know. It's that time of the year. It is. So is. Erin Pontius says first timers with our eight year old daughters and Hi, cousins Aaron. from Effingham, Illinois. Very good. Off he says Illinois. thanks for the family time. Yes. That's we what we need do. It. We, we want to put it. out the family time, That's the self care right. time. Absolutely. I love it. <clears throat> yeah, so. Abby says no, not yet. No, not yet. Oh, okay. It's on its way. It's on its way. <laughs> That's right. So, okay, we just came over after we did that white band for our hat. We did kind of a little curve, like a big sideways S over here. And then from this side of the hat, kind of follow that curve. Yeah. Just to finish it off to a point. And then fill that in. And then using that same color purple, I kind of did a band across underneath his head, covering his neck over the top of his body yeah. for his big scarf. And then I added a little bit of white to that color just so that we could see it really, but it works for our um, our highlights. And just do two little curves down for uh, the little ties that hang down for your scarf. Now Anya's saying, um, this might not be for the adult, but can you make an Among Us painting for the kids? Among Us. Okay, yeah. it must be a show. Yeah, a show you'll have to game. elaborate on what Among Us is. It sounds familiar, but I don't know what it is. Listen, I just learned about Animal Crossing yesterday. Because <laughs> I had yeah, you to. You just learned about Animal Crossing. I did not know what Animal Crossing was. I was thinking Frogger, but I had to do an Animal Crossing painting for a, a private party. So, so. So we're learning. Just so we're as, learning as we go. Along. We're learning as we go. You guys are teaching us some things. So see, Novita says yes. That's a great idea. Among us. Among us. It's okay. In. <laughs> That's what people it's, it's a game. It's a game. And okay, game. See, I don't know things about games. Aiden does not play games. Right, <laughs> so Aiden is not we into, don't know Aiden, games. Aiden's into technical things like vacuum cleaners and clocks. home security systems and clocks, clocks with, mess, with Westminster Chimes. <laughs> He's not into video games. But we understand, you know, we get all of our suggestions from, from our guys. viewers. That's right. And if we don't know about something, then we'll do the research <laughs> on it and we'll find out about it and we'll come up with a painting like he just showed you. So while I have that slightly lighter color of that purple, I'm going to bring this up in the top of my hat and just sort of follow that curve for a little bit of a highlight up there. Oh, okay. And then I'm going to rinse and dry. We got Chelsea Blackburn's Fikes from hey, Chelsea. Lebanon, Missouri. Welcome. Oh, I'm sorry, Lebanon, Missouri. <laughs> I'm going to come over to this penguin and we'll give him some uh, color here. Let's make some green. Let's make him a green scarf and hat, or a scarf at least. Right, she's saying, um, yes, it's a trendy game that almost every kid is playing. And she says, please, it's highly requested. Highly Don't you worry, Anya. We just put your video up about what your, your pink palette, palette. That you yeah. Suggested. That's on YouTube now. It is on YouTube okay, now. Okay, so, um, yes, you know we're going to find a way to get something done with that. So we will always be willing to honor what your requests are. Listen, we did pickle work for the adults, so... Well, you we know. did it for Connor too. Connor is the one that <laughs> Connor's the one that asked for pickle Rick. All right. <laughs> she didn't know who pickle Rick was. Uh, yeah. I did, but she didn't. So again, I'm just kind of putting some curve lines on there for that little tie of his scarf. Right. And remember, your scarf can be whatever color you That's want it right. to be. It doesn't have to be green. Yep. And it doesn't have to be purple. I just mix a little bit of blue and a little bit of yellow for that green color. 
Right, now Catherine Orr says, can you go over the scarf details again? Please? Yeah, sure. So I just take whatever color I'm gonna use. So this one I used green, and right underneath his head where, you know, we were gonna follow the shape of that circle, the bottom of the circle, we kind of come down with a little curve on either side, and then fill that in following that curve down onto his body. It's about a half of an inch right. wide. So if you kind of take this brush to sort of measure, eh, maybe a little bit wider than a half an inch. Okay, and then after you have that um, kind of slightly smile shape under the, he under the head, then we just bring two like curved lines down or flared out, like this one's a little flared out for the ties of his scarf. Uh -huh. And you can add little details to this, like if you want to add stripes on it, you can add stripes on it. We can add some stripes by just adding a little bit of red stripes in there if okay. you want to. Some red stripes going this way. Yeah, like Pauline Diaz says, all these kids over here all play games like Roblox and Minecraft. Roblox, yes. I know Roblox. And she's like, it's five, six, ten, and eleven year olds. Roblox and Minecraft, I know. Okay. I got those. Uh, I mean, I, I know what those are. I don't have those as paintings yet, but. <laughs> And somebody requested that for their kids. The kids said, yeah, that's what they wanted to paint. So that's what we'll paint. That's up now, I think, right? Yes, it is. That's on the YouTube That page. was Wesley. Wesley. Wesley that's Walker. right. It was Wesley. I remember my littles. I love it. Yeah, everybody has such great ideas. We've got thousands of, uh, <laughs> we of do. Uh, ideas and requests. I know. We asked and they, they delivered. You know, and that's the kids. That's the adults. You know, you guys have very creative uh, and imaginative suggestions. That and then we true. try to capitalize on that by being creative ourselves with it. You know, I mean, just for the, uh, the uh, Polar Express itself, that was, a, that was a painstaking process to get her to get through that painting. Stop. It was. You, you know, we was like, we don't want to do what everybody else does. We want to do something different. That's and right. And he did it the first time. was like, no, don't like it. <laughs> You know, I was like, well, just, just make changes, that's all, just make some adjustments. We did. And she did, and it came out perfect. It came out great. That's right. All right, so now we're back out again. Okay. Because I was, I was zoomed in. All right, so we have hats, we have scarves. Now we need some of our little details. So what can you put in their hands? Let's do a heart first. So I'm going to take little of my red. I'm actually going to use a little red with a little bit of yellow because the red doesn't usually show up well. It may turn out purple on this because uh, the red is kind of transparent. The okay. red that I have. Yeah. So let's do a little heart. A little curve and bring it down so it looks like he's holding it. And this is always the challenge of hearts, right? One side looks good and then you get to the next side and you try to make that bigger and then you make that bigger. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> now, Krishna says, can we add a pom-pom at the end of our house? Uh, yeah. Absolutely. I'll show you how to do that. Hold on. Let's get a heart on this guy first. <laughs> That's so funny. Denise Tossic says, love the Animal Crossing painting. Can you do that one for the public, please? <laughs> That's what happens when you we show may. those we, we may have private. to. We'll see what happens. <laughs> That's what happens when you show those private paintings that you do for people. They're going to see it and go, oh, wait a minute. That would be good for everybody to do. <laughs> so for our the pom-pom on, uh, on your hat, I rinsed and dried. I just went back to my white, same as up here. Yeah. And then I'm just going to tap that white on the end to make a make a pom-pom on there. So you're just tapping it on there. Yep. And you can make your pom-pom yes. big as you want. That's right. Or as small as you want, or whatever color you want. That's right. I'm going to add a little bit of that purple in there just so there's some color in there. Okay. Yeah, so the answer to Denise's question is that eventually we will uh, <laughs> I guess we'll we'll get have an animal to do crossing something animal. with an Animal Crossing painting. I had, to ask what it, I had to ask what character, I had to ask what it was. Because I was thinking, you know, I don't know, for whatever reason, Frogger came to mind. 
I'm showing my age there. But <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wait, hey, is that that? No. Okay. Tina wants to see the original painting, so I'm going to zoom out. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Almost there, guys. We got a couple little more details left, and you're good to go. All right, there we go. <laughs> now, you see how we were talking about in the beginning of my all of our paintings. videos? My painting is not going to look like my painting, and your painting is not going to look like my painting. Yes. This is what we mean. That's and right. everybody has a different style or a different um, creative energy. And, you know, you see they are penguins, yeah. but they're not going to look the same. They're not supposed to look the same. And that's why we beg you, we ask you all the time, please take a picture of your photo, I mean a picture of your painting, and send it to us and post it on your page. If you post it on your page, please tag us. Yeah, and if you post that. it on our page... You know, we're gonna we're gonna put it into a, a slideshow when we get the time and yep. we're gonna celebrate you. So when you come <laughs> to our page on Facebook, um scroll through it. Look through our photos. Go through our photo section and look at all of the different events we had and all of the happy people and look at how their paintings came out. They're none of them are gonna be the same and they all have their own creative energy that they let flow through at that time when we did the event. So we're not a s we're not a school. We don't train. <laughs> We're not having a class. This is what we call a session. Oh, my. It's whatever you want to call it. As long as you're having having some fun and you're enjoying yourself, you can call it whatever you like. Yeah. Just don't say we're a school. <laughs> or we're a class. All right. Can you please show us how to draw the present? Mm-hmm. All right. That's from Shika Gupta. You're going to go to whatever color you want to go to on your round brush or medium round brush. I made a little bit of teal, so I just took a little scoop of blue and a tiny, tiny bit of yellow. So I'm going to start with, I'm going to start with a little box here, a little rectangular or square box here. I'm going to zoom in for that. So start with that little square or rectangle and then depends on which way you want it to go as far as 3d or you can leave it flat on but I'll I want to see the top of it a little bit so I'm gonna from whoa, from <laughs> from this corner I'm gonna kind of come up on a little diagonal okay. and I want to follow that same diagonal over here and I'll follow the same diagonal down here yeah so now I have it zoomed in but you can see both boxes. Okay. See the box on the right side, and you see the box that you're creating on the left side. Good. So we started with that square, and then you do a little diagonal, same diagonal on every corner that's uh -huh. open. And then we're going to close those off and then fill in. Okay. Stacy Cat Friedlander is with hey, us. Hey, how are Saying you? Hey. Happy Thanksgiving. Rascal, sit down. I know, Rascal's like losing his mind. Just wait. Mommy's almost done. <laughs> Take it easy. So, there he has, it looks like he's holding an ice Take cube. Take it easy. Could be an ice cube. <laughs> so we have our little box. <laughs> he's doing a stare down with me right now. He's doing a stare down with me. Come on over here. Calm down. What's wrong with you? Huh? So we need you to let, to we're going to let this dry for just huh? a minute. Let that dry for a minute. And Calm while down. we're letting that dry, I'm going to have you rinse and dry again that medium flat brush, or I'm sorry, medium round brush. Rinse and dry. And let's get the eyes on our penguins. Okay. Okay. Tiny little bit of paint at a time. Okay. What brush are you using? That medium round brush. Okay. Okay, so we're going to do a little eye on this side. And now if you want your penguin to be looking up, you need to move this, the second eye, down this way a little bit. If you want it to be looking down, this eye needs to come up more. If you want it looking straight on, it's going to be almost the same area. So okay. almost the same height here. 
So depending on which direction you want your yeah. gaze to come from your penguin, it's dependent on where you put these eyes. That's right. So we'll do a little eye here. And then again, if you want it looking straight on, it's going to come straight across. If you want him looking down a little bit, we sort of want this one looking down a little bit since he's a little taller. So we're going to move this eye over and up just a little bit. Okay. Now, Terry Cole says, my mom had knee surgery recently, and she is feeling better tonight oh, to paint good. with me and my sister. Oh, I'm so glad. That's good news. Yes, it is. This is me and my sister usually paint with the kids, Aww. but we love y'all in doing all of these paints. I love you guys, too. Yeah, take him outside. I'm, I'm taking him outside. Yeah, please. He needs to go outside. Sorry, everybody, but Rasmus has to go outside. And he won't do it unless Jennifer takes him. Only to be interrupted by a dog. That's your dog. <laughs> okay. There we go. So we have their eyes. He won't let me open the door for him to go out to the bathroom, but you gotta you got <laughs> only way he's gonna do it is if you go and open the door. Crazy dog. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and then uh we're going to add a little bit of a, kind of a bow to our package over here. So pick your second color. We're going to rinse and dry again. Uh, <coughs> All right, I'm zooming back in on the box because uh, Sylvia Miranda Hernandez says she wants to see the box. Yep. I'm going to okay. zoom in. All right, so I'm going to go over that really quick again. All right, you went out now, relax. All right, so I did this little square first. And then from either of the corners, a little diagonal line. Same diagonal, same height of the diagonal. And then you're just gonna close off with a horizontal and a vertical uh -huh. and fill in. Well, she has a she has a box on the right and a box on the left to see both of them. <laughs> and then we'll just do a little right in the center, a little uh, ribbon, a ribbon on it. Yep. This is my painting here. A little ribbon on our package and it can go this way if you want to so just follow those um follow the shape of those flat surfaces so follow the um, that is a straight line down this is a diagonal this is a horizontal this is a straight line down and then you can give a little bow on top just can you uh, can you go through that again because i have Three people saying, please slow down. Yeah. Rebecca Wynell and uh, Perla Garcia. Just go over the box again. I think that's what they're talking about, the box. Box? Okay, so let's make another box. Let's make a whole other box so you can see the whole thing. Okay. Um, let's make a red one. Okay, let's see. <clears throat> Where are you going to put the box? On the ground. Okay. All right, so we'll do another little box down here, okay? So I'm going to start with a square or a rectangle. Square or a rectangle. Yep. Start with a square or a rectangle. Then we're going to do our diagonals. Okay. So diagonal will be maybe a half an inch diagonal here. Yeah. Follow that same half inch diagonal here. Yeah. Same half inch diagonal here. So it's the same, same angle. From those three corners. Yep, all of your corners here. And then you'll do a horizontal. Let them see that first. And then a vertical to close it off. Okay, and let them get a good look at that. And that's the shape of your box. Yep, and then you can just fill it in. And your box will be whatever color you choose. Yep, that's right. Thank you, bud. Welcome. <laughs> and 
And then we'll rinse and dry so that we can put our... You're going to rinse and dry your brush we'll so put you can put a ribbon bow on, on it. it. Yep. Well, let me, we're going to let this dry a minute though, okay? All right, yeah, let's let them get a chance to make their boxes. And then I want to add a couple of little outlines in here, just a few, just to define some spaces. So with that uh, medium round brush, rinse them dry. I'm gonna have you grab a tiny bit of white, just a little, a little bit of white. And where the body meets the fin, I wanna kind of follow that shape just a little bit. So you're sort of seeing where the body ends and the fin begins. We'll do that over here, okay? It doesn't have to be a big solid line. It can be just a very fine line there. just in between your body and your fin. We're just doing a tiny little white line in there. Can you show them that white line again? Yep, so right in between where our body edges and our fin is. Yeah. We're just doing a tiny little bit of a white line in here. Okay. And it doesn't have to be a full solid line. It could be a broken line or two little, three little dash lines. That's okay. All right. And then you'll rinse and dry again. Can I zoom down a little bit? Okay. And the next little outline that we have, we're going to rinse and dry again that medium brush, getting that to a little point. Yeah. Tiny little bit of black at a time tiny, tiny bit at a time. Okay, I'm gonna come around the edge of our hat so you can see the edge of the hat. Are oh, you gonna outline the, the edge of the Just hat? Just that little edge of the hat. Throw my brush on the floor. Hmm. Well, we don't have awards for throwing the brush on the floor. <laughs> I'm sure that's happened a few times. <laughs> Again, I'm going to grab a tiny bit of that black again, and I'm going to do just some of those outlines for our box. So you can sort of see those corners on the box. Oh, so you did the corners of the box. Right, so just come and do right, right along this edge, kind of skip over that ribbon, and do this these little verticals down. Give a little definition to your box. Yep. And you still have a box on the ground in the snow. Yep, we have a box on the ground in the snow. So we have to pick a ribbon color for that box. Um, Any contrasting color. Yeah. Yellow. Let's do yellow. Okay. Let's do a light yellow because regular yellow is just going to turn orange. Okay. So we'll grab that little vertical line down in the front of our box. We want to follow that same diagonal right in the center to follow our ribbon down. So we'll do a horizontal right across. There you go. Now, Jamie Hessler Betancourt says, Jaden, Brooklyn, and Addison would love a shout out. Hi, Jaden, uh, Brooklyn, uh, Brooklyn, and Addison. Alice, Addison. Addison. <laughs> Hi, guys. Yes. I hope you guys are having us fun. Tonight. That's right. And Karen Schwarzer Thompson says, my girls and I had fun. Oh, good. Thanks for the new family tradition. You're so, oh, I love that. Yes. That's a nice way of putting it. Thank it you. is. It's a great family tradition. So awesome. Yeah, well, we'll be continuing the family tradition tomorrow with the help of the show. <laughs> Yes. And then on Saturday, we'll be doing the Grinch and Max and Cindy Lou. So, we so you take your pick. Yeah. We got two little steps left, guys, and then you're done. All right, I'm just going to put some little little ribbon up here. You can do a couple of little swirls up there. Little swirls. Little swirls. Little uh, kind of upside down teardrop shapes they are. Okay. And then you can do your little black outlines if you want. And the very last thing that you need to do... Make sure you sign and date your painting. 
Robert says, please give a shout out to Andrew and Nicholas. Hey, Andrew and Nicholas. Thanks for joining us tonight on Happy Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving night. Happy Thanksgiving, guys. Yes. And remember, we're doing it tomorrow. We're doing it Saturday. <laughs> you can visit our YouTube page. We have a whole kids section that I've been working on. So a, uh, if you don't want to paint any of the paintings in the other section, there's a kids section that has a lot more simpler paintings to do. All right. So again, you're just going to add those initials and your date on your canvas. Always initial and date your canvas. And then take a picture. So, yes. And right, send well, it in to us because that's the payoff for us. It see is. Your, see your painting. So, let's go over that again. What I'll do is once we're done, we'll post the video to the page. You guys can still go back to it. You can share it if you want to. Yep. We'll then post a um, kind of a little photo, a picture, and say, reminder, post your photos here. So, I want you to just use your photos, take your own pictures, and then put them in the comments as comments. And we'll take all of them from that thread and, and add them to a, a slideshow yeah. at some point. <laughs> I give it a while. And then uh, we'll also post our little thank you. It's a picture of me holding the many thanks sign um, with our virtual tip jar information, should you want to choose to uh, to use that. They could use that to put their pictures, their photos? They can use the, the picture ones that I just said. Okay. <laughs> um, that's it. We'd love to see those pictures. We'd love to see those. Uh, we definitely want to see family shots today. Yes, yes, I love definitely. it. That's, love that's, it. That's really good. Um, yes. Tim Maxfield says, we love this. Awesome. Thank you from Washington State. You're welcome, Two guys. Two moms, a seven-year-old and a three-year-old. We will post our pic later. Yay. Very okay. good. And then, of course, we got to give a shout-out to Shinoxi. Hi, Shinoxi. And Anjali. Hi, Anjali. Thanks for joining us tonight. That's right. Oh. She said, uh, Anya says, one question. Did you make a gift on the other penguin? I didn't. Nope. I didn't. He doesn't have anything. Shona Madoris Parm says, thank you. You're welcome. Yes, thank you for joining us yeah. tonight. Absolutely. We really, really looked forward to this all week. Yeah, we thought this would be fun. Yeah, we thought it would it. be fun, and we thought people were clamoring for something to do <laughs> on a Thanksgiving night where some people aren't getting to spend the time with all their family like they normally would, and um, you know, just don't do the activities that they would normally do on a, that they would do on a Thanksgiving evening. That's okay. Or Thanksgiving weekend. So we just decided let's do the whole weekend. We're paying all weekend. Yep. So we'll be here tomorrow. <laughs> That's right. And we'll right. be here double header on a Saturday. Yes, we will. So, and then, um, you know, did they choose all of the paintings, or did you choose the paintings for this, this uh, weekend? I think the paintings... The, the Jack and Sally was by, prop, I mean, uh, yeah. the Grinch, the Grinch was Correct. by they're, popular demand. Somebody suggested that. Yeah, I think they're all. I mean, I, I know that I painted this as, remember, I painted this when we were live just to kind of get their feedback. Like, you guys told us what to do in the backgrounds. Right. So we did that one, and then when I did this, you guys said, do Max and do Cindy Lou. So right. we put them both together. So right, because I was trying to series. get her to paint. I was trying to get her to paint the Grinch with the uh, with the sleigh full of stolen goodies, and and Max trying to uh, yeah, I was trying to get her to paint that one. Let me zoom in on that back. We boy. did, but okay, I did. but she didn't like how it came out, so she decided on doing the. Other. There was there was a lot of little. It was a little too small, a lot of little details, and you would have needed at least three sketches in order to get through this. Right, like so to get it onto the canvas. So right. I thought it's that was just a little too complicated. To, uh, to get through, so. And that's just our process, you know. When you give us a suggestion, and she tries <laughs> to paint whatever, and then she decides that, nope, that's too hard, or that's not good enough. And I know that it'll take, it'll take you guys double the time that it takes me. And it's not that you guys, it's just our, you know, the explanation and, you know, talking about current things coming up. So I know that if it takes me an hour, it's going to take you guys at least two hours. Right, and, and so. not everybody has the same level of skill. So we want to be able to do something that everybody can participate in. Yeah. That everybody can have fun doing. Yeah. We, I mean, we occasionally will do some tougher ones. Like the zoo ones are going to be tougher. Uh, I'll tell you that. The, um, the snake. Yeah, the snake is going to be difficult. The snake took me probably an hour and a half to do. So I expect that this will be a good two to two and a half hour yeah. um, event with this one. Um, and plus with the zoo. So we may be together for three hours that day. <laughs> Sierra Madero's Royster 
Let's thank that. you for our first time, four-year-old uh, Riley and nine-year-old Brielle. Awesome. Hi, Riley and Brielle. Yep, thanks for joining us thank tonight. Thank you, guys. And remember, we're doing the Elf on the Shelf tomorrow. That's right. And then The Grinch and Max and Cindy Lou on Saturday afternoon and it's Saturday night. I'm so excited night. for The Grinch. And for all you people who are joining us on the West Coast, watching this video, <laughs> we want to say thank you and happy Thanksgiving in Mark's advance. All about the West Coast. <laughs> On the West Coast, yes. Yeah, I know. We're just like all about the West Coast today. Yeah, because I know what, according to like two weeks coming up to it, I was saying that some people are not going to be able to join us. Yeah, I know. At the time that we start on Eastern time, they're going to do the video. That's right. So I just want to say hi to them, let them know I've been thinking about them. And we didn't show this one, which I forget which day this was. Oh, I don't the, remember. Uh, the 13th? Hold on, it's written down here somewhere. <laughs> On the many papers. Yes, penguin. No. Yeah. No, flaw. Yes. Nope, that's the wrong flaw. <laughs> so the kids saw that I was holding, I, I had him on my like little work table here for a while, over a month, and they kept saying, we have to paint that, we have to paint it. So we painted it. And we're going to they zoom. They painted it, they named, I mean, they said they want to paint it. And then yeah, they Abby named, named it. it Tosh with... Bop, bop, boop, and buzz. Bop, boop, and buzz. Right, but when are we doing bop, boop, and buzz? I think it's the 13th. It's a Thursday. On the 13th? In December. And it's 4 o'clock. It's in the afternoon because we're going to do two paintings that day. So we're going to have a late, late one, and we're going to have this one I'm in the afternoon. I'm looking for your handwriting on some of these. Yeah. It's time for a new upcoming event absolutely, list. Absolutely, absolutely. I need it. <laughs> We've got it. We got events for every almost every day. So for this one, we're going to again. Um, so for our kids camp over the summer, we did a Zoom with the zoo. Uh, also, uh, we did actually, it was uh, Apple Hill Farms. It was a farm, an alpaca and a llama farm. farm. Right. So we're going to have them come on again with us for this and talk about the alpacas and the llamas. We had such a great time for the summer thing that we said, well, let's do it again for, for all of the kids for this time of year. Absolutely. Yeah, I still don't see the date. It's OK. Okay. It's on the Facebook page. Upcoming events. Yep, just, just go to our Facebook through. page. We're, we're already on our Facebook page. Just check the upcoming events. That's right. And, and again, if you, uh, if you go to, so we do ask you, sign up on our website for stuff. Sign up because that answers 90%, 95% of the questions that you probably have about the event. So you will get a, um, an email from us. It'll have a download button on it. Click download. It will download a work document to you, and that is your supply list. It's your frequently asked questions. It is um, any sketches, if there is a sketch. It is um, information about the giveaways. It's at, like at all of our FAQs, anything that you could think of. Yeah, whether it's going to be recorded, where it's going to be, where we're going to be, the link if there's a Zoom link. It's all of that. That's what's in the sign up. Uh -huh. So we ask you to go there. We've made them all free by using the self-care promo code. So you can add now, you can add 10 different signups if you want to, <laughs> and use the promo code self-care and it will clear it all out. Right. It'll be free. Um, the links only last for 30 days. We found this out recently. Right. <laughs> Since this, I think the Grinch was probably one of the ones that we put up a lot sooner than ones that we have done in the past. So that link is only good for 30 days. So either print it or you can always just go back and do it again. All right, so I'm just going to read off a few things before we go. Sure. Um, Michelle Zucker Dunham says, thank you. Enjoy this with my husband. Aw, Vicky that's Linda awesome. says, you both are so wonderful. Thank you. You're so welcome. Lindsay Mariano says, thank you for me and my 7-year-old daughter. Aw, thank you, guys. Katrina Bullock says, thank you for me and my 10-year-old daughter. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, guys. Krista Baruda says, first time here from Pennsylvania. Our whole family participated. That's so cool. All right, it's our family's first time. Aww. Okay, and then Elise Ann Hogan Reddy says, Thank you so much. My daughter and her You're friend had Elise. fun. Aw, so great. Elise, Catherine, and Zoe. Awesome. Jo Zoe. Zoe, sorry. <laughs> I yep. love it. Elisa Fain says, awesome fun. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome, guys. Tiffany Brunetti Monroe says, we love this. Thank awesome. you. Awesome. You're welcome, Tiffany, guys. We love that we have all these first timers. Yeah, and you guys enjoyed yourself. That's yep. what it's about Renee, for us. Renee Siminski says, our first time and enjoyed it. Thank you very much for our gen for your generosity. We oh, will be of back. Of course, of course. Yep, that's what it's about for us. It is not about, while well, we are glad that you created a painting, it is about, it's not about the painting for us, it's about, 
time with you. It's some downtime. It's making you chuckle sometimes. It's making you spend time with your family. Yes. Um, sometimes this is my downtime too. I'm not thinking about anything else. I'm not thinking about the 30 kits that I have to pack after we're done tonight. I'm not thinking about anything else but being in the moment with you guys. So that is, um, that's what this is about for us. And it's an option. Your Christian says, we signed up, but we did not get any list. That's why we were asking. No problem. No, that's Cat okay. Kat says, I had fun. Thank you. Yay. Uh, Tina Cassieri Smith says, thank you. You're welcome. Jenny Terramoto says, thank you. My six and nine-year-old loved it. So cool. Aw. Tracy Rizzo Vance, my 10-year-old daughter and I had a great time. You guys are so nice. We look forward to more. Aw, us too. Yes, thank Stephanie you. Hill says, thank you for taking the time out of your holiday to do this. We will definitely join again. You're welcome. <laughs> yes, we want to thank everybody thank for joining you us guys. tonight. Thank you, guys. It was a lot of fun for us. Uh, we have been looking for this for so long. It was, you know, it, we planned this about a month. Yeah, yeah, no, we said we were going to be home we for decided. Thanksgiving. Yep. We want to give you guys something to do for Thanksgiving, so. So we're going to just be we here. We knew. <laughs> yeah, we weren't going to Pennsylvania. So plan, we'll do something. We know Christmas is, you know, right around the corner, so we will have something for Christmas, too. Yep, Christmas, New I'm Year's. sure. We'll have something exciting to do. <laughs> or we'll ask you, we'll, we'll, we'll ask you for your input if we need it, and then we'll just go with it. Yeah. Hmm. Yep, Nicholas Southern says thank you and shout out to my beautiful fiance Emily. Aw, hi Emily, congrats guys. And Sylvia Aranda Hernandez says thank you so much and many blessings. Many blessings to you guys too, thank you so much. Erica Yeski says thank you for the fun family night. <laughs> Good job That's guys. That's what we aimed to do that tonight, was to have a fun, fun family, family night. night. That's it. Make sure everybody That's has all. a great time so we can start beginning our weekend. That's right. Remember, if you ever want to paint with us and we're not live, you can go to the YouTube channel. There's a couple on our website that you can use it, do as a download. There's a small fee to them. Other than that, we are working on just kind of pushing the traffic to YouTube so that we can eventually, hopefully, monetize and we can continue to do free stuff for you guys as much as we can. <laughs> yes, Laura Sullivan says, I will finish this painting tomorrow, which you can no absolutely problem. do. No problem. Yeah, absolutely. And then uh, Michelle Stratton says, can you please repeat how to be entered to win? The Penguin Painting Experience at the Zoo. Yes. So so we are not allowed to raffle. <clears throat> just because we... Uh, I know I had mentioned that at some point. We are not allowed to do that. It is not legal to do that. So what we've done is we've created kits for every event. Um, so, of course, this will only apply to U.S. residents. Um, any kit that you purchase. So if you purchase the Penguin Kit to paint the penguins with us, you'll get one entry. If you purchase two Penguin Kits you'll get two entries. If you purchase all four kits, the penguin, the boa, the owl, and the sloths, you will get four entries. So one for each of the three that we're gonna do live and one extra that you can choose what to put it in. So if right now we're running the buy three, get one free. So if you get one of each, you pay, pay for three of them, you're gonna get a fourth one for free. And that fourth one, you can choose to put it in for an, a second chance at the sloth event. Okay. Um, but that is the VIP experience. We're super excited. So um, we don't pay for travel because we're just not like that yet. We don't got money like that yet. Working on it. <laughs> so, working on it. So, of course, it's going to be to anybody that can travel here. We're going to do one consolation prize per um, per session, whether mm -hmm. it's the sloth, the, the owl, or the penguins. Okay. Um, in case your name is pulled and you're in California and you're not going to travel all the way to Jersey for this. You're welcome to, but <laughs> um, we'll give one consolation prize, and then we will spin until we get the next person that's closest that can make it. All right. Okay. We're super excited for it, though. Yes, thank you, everybody, for thank joining you guys. us tonight. Uh, the Lechner family, thank you for joining us tonight. Thank you, guys. And, yes, we look forward to you guys coming back and joining us. We'll be yeah. here all weekend. We're back we're on here tomorrow all night, and then we're back on Saturday for a doubleheader. Yep. You got it. All right. All right, guys. Make sure you go to our Facebook page and look at the events coming up. That way you'll know for sure where we're going to be uh, appearing next. That's true. And, um, and, and in the event that you can't paint something with us live, you can always go to our YouTube page, which is Mimosas Masterpieces, one word. That's it. All right. Thanks That's again. It. Have a great night, guys. Remember, with... I'll post those uh, the photos up there for you to post your photos. <laughs> and I'll put the virtual tip drawer information there if you choose to use it. 
All right. Good night, everybody. See Have you a great tomorrow. Day, guys. Thank you. Bye. All right, Rascal. We're good now. All right, Rascal. <laughs>